Hey guys, it's your girl KC coming at you live with another video, and in this video, I'm doing a Q&A! Yay, finally! Um, a couple of people asked me questions, and I kind of just clumped them together. Smoking on a spliff. I have my questions here written down. No, we're not doing this right now. The cat is obsessed with plastic, and she's sitting here on my lap. All right. So, question number one was recently asked in my uh, tutorial video on how to roll a backwood in a rolling machine. I just recently got a new all black rolling machine. Ooh, I didn't even notice it was clear at the bottom. And uh, it's the same size, it's the same exact size. Uh, to answer your question, what size was the machine? It was 110 millimeters. So, yeah, this is dope. Um, I did order this off of Amazon. It came in a package with other things that I can't say that I got it with. But, yeah. Honestly, a rolling machine shouldn't cost you any more than like 10 bucks, maybe 15. I don't know. But definitely order off of Amazon. You'll get it super cheap and it's the, like quality. It, it's, it's still good quality. Okay. <clears throat> that was part like question one, part two, I guess. The price. I don't know. Question number two. What is my opinion on CBD oil? Okay, um, I just got introduced to oils probably about a month or two ago. Like, I actually have it available for me to get. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know, but marijuana is technically not legal in my state but I do know how to get like like professional package they'll say the percentage of like THC CBD all that good jazz so since I do have that option open I'm going to be experimenting with that so I can I can answer that question appropriately but I've never tried it so I don't have an opinion Question number three, um, how tall am I? This is a random ass question. I'm 5'8", if anybody wants to know. I am a pretty good height. Slender, tall. Yeah. Uh, question number four, right? One, two, three, four. What made me start smoking? Uh, well, why I First smoked or first thing why well, I tried smoking. I've always wanted to smoke ever even as like a kid. One of those things you always imagine you like puffing on a cigarette or something, but I didn't like cigarettes, so my mom was one of those kind of sheltering moms, so I didn't really know what marijuana was, did not know what it looked like, the smell anything like that but I just I guess I knew that there were other things out there you would smoke besides cigarettes and cigars and all that good jazz but to further go into like really answer the question why I continued smoking um one it helps me with my anger I do have really, really bad anger issues. My uh, what, what is it? My tolerance is extremely low. Um, I have ex a lot of energy, so if I am sober, somebody would be thinking somebody would think I am hyped up on like Adderall or some shit because I have so much fucking energy. I'm just bouncing off the walls, so it kind of like. 
keeps me grounded. It helps me with my anger so little things don't really take me off often. Like, it's just weird. And then it helps me, uh, helps me with hunger. So anger uh, keeps me grounded and helps me with appetite. Uh, what's the long question number four? Wait, is it five? Yeah, question number five. This is part one of five. What's the longest uh, I've went without smoking? I don't know, probably three months. I like continuously smoking like every day. I would say a smoke break would probably be three months. And I actually did that on YouTube. I think I deleted the videos that I recorded. The mo the break that I did take without smoking, it was a little weird. Um, again, I had way too much energy for life. I didn't know what the fuck to do with it. And how did I handle it? Um, a lot of meditation. Uh, I wrote a lot. Uh, I just put my energy towards other things. And I didn't really have a focus. I just did a lot at once. So I guess I handled it okay. But honestly, with the with what I deal with at work now, if I were to go without... If I were to go to work sober or if I wanted to take a smoke break now, I would be the most angry person you could possibly ever meet in your life. Like, everything would piss me off. I would not want to talk about anything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Is A lot of things piss me off and I don't understand why people do the things they do or... I kind of get it just so I really do understand why people do the things they do and I don't understand why people are so lazy about it or inconsiderate or they're just so fucking blind to the shit that they fucking do. So, yeah. Bye, Rip. <laughs> Um, that's basically all I have for the questions that I got. I do thank you guys for asking me those questions. Even though I did not reach my goal for my last video for like 75 likes and 2,000 views, I unfortunately cannot tell the story. But um, I'll give you the, the gist of it. Uh, it was a story of me on a Sunday. I worked a double morning sh brunch shift and dinner shift and on my break after smoking a good blunt and having some good lunch i got smacked in the eye with a rock hard fucking gummy bear by a group of 12 year olds but since i didn't reach the goal i cannot tell you how the story ended but just know i really did get smacked in the eye with a rock hard gummy bear and it almost blew my height like so quick. Oh my god. It was so tragic. So tragic. So let me see if I can finish this bowl though. <sighs> yeah, it's it's still smokable. The white part, when it hits like grayish white, that's when you cannot burn this shit no more. So pray for me. Let's see if I can do it.
I did it. <coughs> Woo! And with that, <coughs> if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you really, really liked it, comment down below. Do ask more questions. I love answering questions. Um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed my crazy ass bong rip. I want to see more crazy bong rips. Then let me know. Other than that, peace and love. Say hi, you guys.